We need to stop a second. Hello, all, and welcome to the broadcast of Kids Cook Up a Healthy Tomorrow. Uh, happy World yes. Food Safety Day. My name is Shelley yes. uh, Feist. I'm executive director of the Partnership for Food Safety Education, and we're going to get started. Uh, please, if you would, tell us who's here and tell us where you're, you're joining us from in the comments. Please take a moment to do that. We'd love to have some dialogue with you tonight. Thank you all for being here. So I'm Shelley Fife. I'm executive director of the Partnership for Food Safety Education. Uh, and also with us tonight is uh, Leslie Owens. She is manager of the Young Cooks Recipe Challenge and she'll be joining us shortly to tell you more about the challenge and to queue up the uh, winner, winner announcement. So a little bit more about World Food Safety Day. The World Health Organization recognizes today as World Food Safety Day. At the Partnership for Food Safety Education, we team up year round for food safety. Our 42 partners and federal agency liaisons work together 365 days a year to raise awareness about steps everyone can take to reduce these germs. That's what we do here together at Fight Back. As we consider recognizing World Food Safety Day this year, it seemed most important to continue to spread the word about recipes. A recipe that includes food safety prompts has been shown in observational research to significantly improve food safety behaviors. So this World Food Safety Day, we offer to all of you recipes to make food safety a seamless part of preparing a delicious and healthy meal. Um, I urge you, if you're not already a part of this community, to uh, join our new Cooking Times e-newsletter. You'll get a monthly e-newsletter with a safe recipe, some food and cooking trivia, and, and it goes out just once a month. So please sign up. Leslie will make sure that the link is in the comments. Leslie, turning it over to you. Okay, all right. Give me just a moment while I drop that link. Welcome everyone. As Shelly said, I am Chef Leslie and I had the honor of um, being able to work on the recipe challenge, the Young Cooks Recipe Challenge this year. Uh, it was pretty exciting. I loved seeing all of the, um, all the submissions. Um, <clears throat> so for the evening, Lunchbox Dad himself, Bo Coffrin. Um, Bo is a husband father of three, and a blogger who teaches parents how to make lunchtime fun. Um, he's been on Good Morning America, The Steve Harvey Show, and in People Magazine, among others. Um, if you have any questions for Bo, drop them in the comments, um, and we'll answer them at the end. I have a couple of questions for Bo, and I'm really excited to, to hear more about uh, his story, his inspiration. Um, so welcome, Bo. Thanks so much, Chef Leslie. <laughs> so can you tell us what inspires you to connect with kids food? And I 
can just tell everyone um, that those super fun smiley face uh, little sandwiches, you made those. Um, and uh, so, yeah. So tell us what more about what inspires you to connect with kids through food and cooking. Yeah. So um, specifically, I make fun food art lunches for my kids um, that they take to school and uh, and uh, other family friendly recipes on top of that. And so it all started with me wanting to connect with my own kids, my daughter, who's now almost 15. We started when she was uh, in kindergarten. And I just I was a dad who just wanted to show my daughter that I, I loved her and was thinking about her when she started school. And so it started from there. I don't have any like art training. I'm not a chef at all, I, but I can put together just fun food art stuff. I saw some moms doing it online and I said, hey, I'm a dad, why can't I do this? And uh, um, I surprised my daughter her first day of kindergarten and uh, she loved it, I loved it, and it just went from there. And I thought, why not just share it on my blog uh, for uh, to help inspire other parents maybe. And so, um, uh, and as we know, like people ask me all the time, like what, what inspires you with your kids, with creations and stuff? Kids are always into different things. And so if you're around kids at all, you know that one week they're into this TV show, another week they're into this movie, the next week they're into this book. And so that keeps us going with inspiration and creativity all the time. And it's really helped them get into the kitchen with us as well for my wife and I. That's great. So you just mostly use whatever they're talking about, whatever they uh, repeat over and over again, and that you use that as your inspiration? Absolutely. Whatever they're into at the time. Right. Um, so what is your favorite part of cooking with and for kids? Yeah, I think it's, um, I, I think it's just, first of all, it's fun to cook for my family. My wife and I kind of share the duties during the week and um, we, we all pitch in. And then it's just been really fun seeing kids take ownership in the kitchen and uh and my kids and then when they have friends over sometimes they'll bake or cook together and uh, and they have so much fun when it was when my daughter was younger um kind of where my middle son is now who he just turned 11 um we would cook together and now my daughter will have friends over and they'll cook together and i'll watch them and i'll be able to enjoy the fruits of their labor in the kitchen and uh and so we just we have a ton of fun with that. i think i think that's really fun for me just seeing them grow up learning about tips and tricks and how to cook things and how to make things for themselves or how to make things for the whole family for us all to enjoy. Right. So um, what do you, what tips do you have for parents to engage kids in the kitchen, to get them interested um, and to see it as something fun to do? I think let them express themselves in the kitchen. Maybe let them pick out a meal to make and you help them with it. Um, but if they um, get ownership, if they feel like that they have a choice in the matter, even if it's making a side dish as part of a whole entire meal, um, then they're, first of all, more likely to eat it themselves, but they're gonna be super excited about it when mealtime comes around. And so um, letting them have a choice and ownership in it, I think is huge. Um, of course, they're gonna need guidance along the way. Um, one of the biggest things for us is continually washing our hands with soap and water. And because uh, um, my kids generally don't think about that. So th that takes a lot more direction for food safety. And so we definitely have to um, do regular check-ins when we're cooking together for that. And so um, definitely uh, pay attention. Because sometimes like with my daughter, she's always taking her phone out, right? And we know that that's one of the dirtiest things. And so every time she takes her phone out, I'm like, okay, go wash your hands, soap and water. Again, it's like, oh man, but, but it's so important. And so also just having all the, um, once you're, maybe you plan a little bit ahead, like a day or two ahead. And so then you can have all the ingredients ready and your kids will help you prep it. But the less time that they have to spend where you're like searching around the kitchen, getting things out of cabinets and cupboards, and the more time they can actually be hands on with the food, um, they're less likely to get bored and kind of go away and leave you right. with a half of the recipe um, for you to kind of, kind of pick up the pieces there. And so, um, uh, another thing I think too for us is we want to um, encourage the kids to clean up afterwards. And so um, whether that's clearing the table, clearing the counters, if they're old enough, doing the dishes, loading the dishwasher, because for a lot of times um, my daughter, she would be like, all right, I'm all done cooking. And then the kitchen would be like 
destroyed. And so um, it's teaching responsibility on the back end as well. Right. Yes, definitely. I think you said something really important there about, um, you know, kids having ownership one of the things, uh, one of the lessons that I think is really great is that even really small kids can take ownership in part of the meal. And you mentioned, um, you know, being able, even just letting kids pick a side dish. If they're really small, um, then, you know, and you don't want to give them too many choices or too, or it's too overwhelming. One of the things that I tell people is say, we're having chicken tonight for dinner. You can either have you know, what would you like as a side dish? Would you like green beans or would you like broccoli? And I think that that makes a huge difference. Just giving them those little decisions um, helps to inspire them to think about what they're going to eat and they get ex they have some ownership in what's going on the, on the, the dinner table that night. So I think That's that was great advice. So, um, and then finally, what tips do you have for uh, parents who are picky eaters? Or yeah, for, kids, you, for parents who have kids who are picky one of them eaters, right there. Yeah, you took one of them right there. And so um, I always like to give choices when it comes to the healthy part of the meal. And so I found if my kids can pick out, like, like I might give them a choice, hey, tonight, or like, let's just say for their lunch, for your lunch tomorrow, do you want celery sticks or do you want strawberries or do you want grapes or do you want oranges or do you want carrot sticks or do you want this? And so that way, even though you're picking out the, the two ingredients, you don't really care which one that they pick because they're both going to be a healthy choice. They get to have ownership and make that choice. So then they feel like, hey, I picked this out for my own lunch or my own breakfast or my own dinner or whatever it is. And so giving them that ownership. Also, I'm a big proponent of making food fun. And so my kids would tell you that there will be healthy stuff in their lunch that they might not, they maybe uh, uh, like further down the road, they've had it a few times now, but they started out when it was made into a fun shape and it doesn't have to be complicated or anything like that. You know, we use cookie cutters a lot um, on sandwiches on, uh, and then we can, we get these little metal cutters off of Amazon, which is great for fruits and vegetables and things like that. And so if they're in a fun shape, I found that my kids are more willing to try things for the first time. And it's okay if they don't like it. Um, we can move on to something else. There's plenty of healthy stuff out there. And so we'll just move on and, and try something else and figure out what they do like. And they might love something one week and hate it the next week. And we'll just keep moving on. That's how kids' taste buds are. <laughs> yeah, that's great. I actually, um, you know, obviously I read a lot of uh, – food related stuff. And I read an article that said um, the most popular shape, particularly with small children are stars. So there's another tip for parents there. All right. So um, I'm going to say thank you to Bo. Um, and Bo, we've also included in the new cookbook that we're coming out with um, just in a few minutes. Bo has a few fun lunch ideas for kids featured in that brand new cookbook. And you can also find him on his blog at lunchboxdad.com or on Instagram at lunchboxdad. Now, Bo also happens to be one of our three grand prize judges for the lunch. And speaking of the recipe challenge, in March of this year, the partnership um, launched the second safe recipe contest. Kids and teens from around the country were asked to create a healthy lunch recipe and to add food safety steps like wash your hands to their recipe. Um, study show that are included in recipes people follow we were blown away I mean honestly it was so exciting for me um, by how great the recipes were and we loved seeing the creativity of the kids and it was obvious how hard everyone worked um, and uh, the scores this is really important for everyone to know the scores were all super close and we're really proud of everyone 
entered. And all our kid chefs will be receiving a certificate. Um, now, it was tough work on the part of our judges, but they did come up with three finalists and a grand prize winner. Those four recipes, along with, with 10 additional recipes, um, are going into our brand new cookbook, The Healthy Lunch, Recipes with Food Safety Steps for Kids by Kids. In addition to step-by-step -step directions for making 14 craveable lunches, uh, the book has activities. It has a lot of fun activities for kids of all ages. Um, I know I've been doing them all myself as we've been putting the cookbook together. Um, it also has a lot of information on uh, food safety. And there are even tips for parents and instructions on how to create safe recipes in your own home. Now we're gonna share the Libby Online Cookbook after, um, in addition to the online PDF version uh, is also available for download. Coming soon, we're gonna have a black and white version, a PDF version of the cookbook that's perfect for educators. Uh, I know a lot of our educators um, you know, print out and give them to families and students. And then later this summer, this is really exciting, we're actually gonna have a Spanish version um, so that we're having the cookbook um, translated into Spanish and that'll be available later this summer as well. So now I would like to introduce our two other grand prize judges, um, Sally Greenberg, who's the executive director of the National Consumers League and Crystal Register, who is director of health and well-being at FMI, which is the Food Industry Association. So welcome to Sally. Hi, everyone. Well, this is so much fun, and I love the Young Cooks contest. Um, I began cooking when I was um, probably seven or eight, mostly baking. And I, I, I take all that skill and ingredient education and food safety that I learned as a little kid, uh, I use it every single day in in my my work and my kitchen, and I just think this is so much fun. So um, there's a fun fact about the contest that we're all uh, part of this evening. Uh, one of the most popular ingredients we saw this year was pineapple. Uh, love pineapple. It's really good for you. It's probably in the superfood category. Um, but before we get to the finalists and the grand prize winner, we'd like to tell you about the 10 delicious recipes you'll find in the Healthy Lunch Cookbook. They are Ciala Salmon by Sienna, Turkey Sausage and Egg Burritos by Jacob, Jackson, and Taylor, Peanut Butter Banana Witch by Caitlin, Yogurt Hummus with Fresh Veggies by Mick and Veronica, and Caprese Chicken Salad by Elena, and Adaya. Turning it over to you, Crystal. Great, thank you. And I actually took a sneak peek of the cookbook today and it is fantastic. So also featured in the book will be the veggie garlic herb pasta, cauliflower mm -hmm. veggie pizza by Allison, the smoked turkey sandwich with hummus and fruit salad by Connor, Victoria and Lydia, the Mexican chicken wrap by Clayton, chicken veggie stir fry by Rihanna and Braulio, and another fun recipe challenge fact, not only did we see a lot of pineapple, but stir fries were the most popular type of recipe we received, and I love a good stir fry. So now the moment we've been waiting for are finalists. So in addition to being in the cookbook, these winning dishes also earned a $50 gift card. So here we go. First up, and this is one of my favorites, Gon's Bonzo Chickpea Burgers bar by Marcelo. As a registered dietitian, I really think this is such a great, nutrient-rich, naturally plant-based burger. And we were all impressed with this simple, affordable base of frozen veggies and beans. Congratulations, Marcelo. Yeah, it was delicious. Uh, also receiving a $50 gift card is our next finalist, 
the Hawaiian BLT by Aiden. This recipe takes an interesting twist on the BLT by using grilled pineapple and barbecue sauce. The sweet salty combination was a hit. Congratulations, Aiden. And the last finalist to take home a $50 gift card is Vegetable Pita Pizza by Lucinda and Lily. This dish is easy to prepare and healthy and can be made to order quickly for one or more. The combination of vegetables made the dish pretty and delicious. Congratulations, Lucinda and Lily. And now for our grand prize winner. In addition to a featured spot in the cookbook, our grand prize winner is also going to receive a $100 gift card. We're so excited for this moment. And the winner is chicken, fruit, and nut salad sandwiches by Cole. Everyone loved the combination of savory chicken, fresh apples and grapes, hard dried cranberries, and crunchy almonds. And this is one of those lunches that perfectly fits the name, The Healthy Lunch. So congratulations, Cole. back to uh, wrap this up okay we are so excited about cole cole has a great story he loves to cook he's been cooking since he's five years old and i don't know he's not much older than that now so he's already you know gonna break the internet with winning these contests so congratulations cole and to all of the finalists because we know how hard you worked to make your recipe a safe recipe. You know, that's a special skill that you learned doing this contest. And we really appreciate that you took that time and uh, probably you taught others in your household about why it's important for your recipe to have food safety instructions. So I wanna thank both Sally and Crystal because they went above and beyond uh, to be part of the contest and it's so nice for us because I think it really gives people who are part of the partnership a sense of what's possible when we start making food safety really a part of cooking and not separate and not something you can't do, but more like this is just how you cook. This is how you make a safe and healthy meal. And uh, we're very proud of the, the guide. We're pleased with FMI Foundation support for the Safe Recipe Guide. And, and thank you guys for, for being part of the contest. We had other volunteers who played a major role in uh, the early judging of all the recipes, helping with nutritional information. I wanna thank them all for everything they put into the contest. And Leslie, uh, you have a few announcements you wanna make uh, that relate to our prize and also to folks who are really wondering how can they get this fabulous uh, uh, some of the get on our, our email list for the newsletter for Cooking Times. So go ahead and cover that. Okay, so yes, um, if you have any questions, um, you can put those in the comments. That's the first thing. So this is sort of your last call if you have any questions for um, our panel here. Um, I did see someone asked about um, whether the finalists are in the cookbook, and the answer is yes. All 14 recipes that we talked about here tonight are in the cookbook. Um, you can also check the, um, the comments. I am going to be adding the links to Cooking Times, the new culinary newsletter. Um, there is a new issue coming out in just a few days, so you're definitely gonna wanna um, get on that list. It's um, it's great, even if I do say so myself. Um, in addition, I'm also going to add the link for the survey. If you do the survey at the end and let us know um, how you liked our event this evening, um, you'll be registered to, as an entry to win a $25 gift card. So giving away one a gift card to Amazon this evening to someone who has registered or who has completed a survey. And the third link that I'm going to drop tonight um, 
is going to be our beautiful, fun, new cookbook um, that Shelly is going to tell you all about right now. Well, you know, since we um, since we worked with the FMI Foundation, developed the Safe Recipe Style Guide, we've had one contest and created a great cookbook, and that was a 30-minute meals cookbook. Now we're offering this cookbook about the healthy lunch cookbook for young cooks. Uh, I think parents and kids can enjoy making these uh, nutritious recipes together. And there's nutrition information in the book um, with each recipe, as well as you can meet um, our contestants who, who provide the recipes. So the cookbook should be available download now. We just made it live today. And if you are an educator, um, in health, food safety, dietetics. Um, I think you'll find this cookbook is more than just a cookbook. There's activities and um, safety guidance and there's a glossary of terms. So there's a lot that young people can learn um, using this cookbook. So thank you, Leslie, so much. I'm gonna stop the share of the slides so that we can all um, say, Thank you and good night. Again, thank you all, Bo, Sally, Crystal, Leslie, um, for being part of this event tonight. Do you have anything you want to add? Please do. We're so proud of these kids. And this was such a fun experience. I, I can't believe you created all these recipes, uh, young chefs. And I loved it. I loved every everything I made. I loved everything was delicious and safe and yeah, this is, you are our future. We're really excited about that. Thank you, Shelly and Chef Leslie and Bo and Crystal. It's been a lot of fun. I agree. Thank you all so much. I think this was so much fun. And I know I have lots of new fun and healthy lunches. Um, already my husband's asking the very <laughs> first thing he asked when he sampled the chicken salad was when are we having this again <laughs> <laughs> good so and i love the cookbook i'm so ready to share it with and i think young cooks goes to i have college age kids and i think those are young cooks too that especially need and appreciate the the safety tips but also just the quick easy healthy recipe. So thank you all for putting this on and thank you to the partnership and all the young chefs are so inspiring. Thank you. I echo everything else that was said and my, my family had such a fun time making uh, these recipes together and they were all super tasty. So proud of all of you young cooks out there. And thank you both for contributing to the cookbook. Check it out. Check out the cookbook. Check out fightback.org. And until next time, Happy, safe, healthy eating, everybody. Thank you, Shelly. Thank you. Night. Thanks to everyone who joined us.